Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to do an easy, no twist, slip stitch edging. That's what you're going to do today. Okay, first you have your piece and you've knitted all the way across to the last two stitches. You want to find out what that last stitch is. In this case, it's a red one. You two yarn are hanging out in the back. You want to pick up the red one since our last stitch is a red one. And you want to bring your needle through the second to the last stitch purlwise and slip it off. And then you bring the red yarn forward. Just the red yarn and slip that last one purlwise and off. So your position is your contrasting hang out in front and your main is in the back. If you turn these, these and look at it straight ways, these guys are waving. Hi. Okay, and then we're going to turn and you can see right there that you've locked in your stitch. Maybe you can see it. There. How's that? See that red bar over the blue one? Now, it's locked in. Now you turn and you want to knit that first stitch. Bring the yarn, red yarn forward and stick your needle in the next stitch purlwise. Pick up your contrasting yarn and purl that stitch. Now your two yarns are back together. You just continue your pattern to the last two stitches. Now this happens every row. Every single row. I'm going to go ahead and knit over here to the other side so y'all can see. You just knit across. The last two. You guys seeing this? All right, we're at the last two stitches, and this time, our last stitch is a blue one. We want to drop everything and pick up what color that last stitch is, and it's a blue one. And what y'all don't know is in the background here, my yarns are getting twisted. Okay, so we pick, we've got our yarn in the back. I'm gonna slip that one. Pearlwise, bring the dust the blue one up. The other guy, he's hanging back here. He's gonna miss his buddy for a few minutes. And then you slip that last stitch with yarn in front, pearlwise, and off. Hi. And you've made. A very nice clean separated slip stitch edging. Now because this yarn and needles do not match, I wanted to show you it on big stuff so that you could see the stitches. You're not going to see a good example of this. So I'm, let me show you a piece I've been working on that is at gauge. A 
see there's my edges. You can see the slip stitch. Very separated, but together. There you go. Happy knitting!